distinctly looking at her and I paused and I kept looking and I kept looking my mother was beside me and she said but I feel excited for me now <laughs> but little did she know that I was so fascinated with how my grandmother managed to take with her her trademark coat in the end. <laughs> now, life is short, but it's the longest thing we will ever do. Live. Here we meet in unison to remember the life of Esther Mark Barley, who was blessed with 83 years. That long. I've known my grandmother for all my life, and in truth, she has been one of the most constant beings in it, which makes it ever so difficult to see her grow. But as they say, it is better to have loved and lost than to have never loved at all. A grandmother's love, how great it is. Now, my first recollection of my grandmother was comfortably sitting in her lap watching TV. I remember the comfort I felt from her then fat arms as she held me. Yes, I'm proud to say that I'm a granny's boy. The kindness, the overprotectiveness, and the miserableness. <laughs> Are some of the badges I was so dealt growing up with her. I remember her playing her role as a grandmother in a time when my parents needed her the most. In truth, I wished they didn't need her quite as much. Because if any of you have ever received a proper scowing from Sissy, you would know it's the best but most painful bath you have ever received. <laughs> and she would say, dirt if my skin can grow calm. <laughs> it's off his scrubber. Now can you imagine me going to Monroe College, being there for four weeks as a young man, probably not dating as well and coming back to a really proper bath. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how I would sleep ever so lightly after one of those showers. 
No, her favorite sport was my least favorite of all, cricket. But the funny thing is, the way she watched cricket and everything else was entertainment in itself. I remember the West Indies needing six runs to win a game and seeing the, in, seeing the TV instantly going blank. <laughs> and to no surprise, she had turned it off. You see, Sissy had this idea that if she watched the game in those final moments, the team would never win. <laughs> and for some strange reason, every time she did it, the team would always be celebrating when she turned the TV back on. <laughs> Now that she's no longer here, God bless the West Indies. <laughs> Sissy also loved to watch popular TV shows like All Together Sing, <laughs> The Price is Right, Wheel of Fortune, The Bold and the Beautiful, and The Young and the Restless. That too was hilarious. As you could hear her talk to the TV as if the characters could actually hear her. <laughs> oh, how she would say, him still look young <laughs> to a movie that was filmed in the 1970s. <laughs> School Challenge Quiz was another one of her favorites. She could easily tell you which team had won the year before with the aid of her record book. I often thought to myself, that she was the fifth player on the team. She loved her. With how she would say, Stop pressing the button, we're not Now, I really do wish I could rave about the several degrees or several businesses owned, but I'm proud to say that her biggest accomplishment was family. Now like any tree with several fruits, some may fall farther away from the root. But like any good seed, they grew. They grew into the people I can eagerly call my aunts and uncles, who then brought forth my cousins, for whom I'm very pleased to see here today. To each of you, I know she loved ever so dearly and prided in every accomplishment you might have chosen through in the rain. For rain allows seeds to grow. Growth takes fighting, and Sissy was a rebellious fighter, in every sense of the word. A fighter during life, and even until the end. I remember asking her, you feel you might live to see my first child. And I remembered her looking down at her old boxing gloves and saying, Boy, we will try it. But once a man, twice a child. Now, a man will know. You know, I, I found this for him. I can't move on. I found this poem, you know, because Imani and I growing up, my grandmother was always very watchful of us. You know, when Imani would go up to school, my grandmother would always be watching, you know, waiting for her to come back. The most concerned person, trust me. Everything could happen to Imani or the according to grandma. So I found this poem, and it was called, it's called The Watcher. She always leaned to watch for us, anxious if you were late. In winter by the window, in summer by the gate. And though we mocked her tenderly, who had such foolish care, 
the long way home would seem more safe because she waited there. Her thoughts were so full of us she never could forget. And so I think that where she is, she must be watching yet. Waiting till we come home to her anxious safety or late. Mama, we late in November. <laughs> Watching from heaven's window. Leaning from heaven's gate. I just want to thank you guys for coming out here today. Oh, to come yes. and make Love you too. Bye. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah.